Hello and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a flying pet companion that will follow the player anywhere you go. Before starting the tutorial, just a reminder to check out my full courses on Udemy, currently at a half price for a limited time. Check the link in the description. In these courses, you will learn how to create games with optimized blueprints, you will learn which blueprints to use and which to avoid, and also package games using the project launcher. You will also learn how to create main menus from scratch using widget blueprints. By the end of these courses, you will be fully equipped to create your own games from scratch. Ok, let's continue with the tutorial now. Ok, let's open up our third person character. Let's add a component. So we're gonna add spring arm. And let's name this companion underscore spring arm. And make sure to attach it to the mesh. So that way, everywhere you go, this spring arm is going to follow our player. Now with the companion spring arm selected, let's go to the location, let's put it up for 90 degrees. So it's going to be a bit higher. And press E to rotate it for 90 degrees to the Z axis. It's going to be behind our player. Now target arm length, this is going to be the how close, how far. So I want our companion to be 150 units, so close to our player. Okay, now let's rotate this spring arm a bit up. So maybe for 30 degrees, so minus 30 on the Y axis. And let's compile and save. And we can offset over here, target offset. So 45 degrees on the X and 45 degrees on the Z. Now with the spring arm selected, let's add a component of skeletal mesh. And let's name it companion underscore skeletal. I have this of Paragon minions. So if you go to the skeletal meshes, we have this buff blue. So if you open it up, we have this little guy here. So we're going to add this to be our companion. So with this selected, we're going to assign it over here. Now for the animation mode, let's select animation asset. And over here, I'm going to type idle. So idle B is the best. It's going to animate like this. Now let's play the game to see how it's going to be. Now you see it's working, but it's a bit too rigid, too stiff. Now let's make it a bit more alive. Go back to the character. So select the spring arm. Now scroll down where there's enable camera lock and camera rotation lock. So for the lock speed, let's put 5. So this means it will take more time for this fly to reach our character. And also we're going to do the same thing for the rotation. Now for the rotation, let's put 1. You can always play with these values to see what's best for your game. Now let's test it out. Now when I go straight, see it takes a bit more time to reach us. The same for the camera rotation. You see it takes a lot more time to come behind us. So this is our original position. So anyway, I turn, it's going to come to the same location. And if I jump, And this is how you're creating companion. Also another thing to, to check, select the skeletal mesh and type collision in the top right corner. Make sure there is no collision. So that way you're going to optimize your game even more. So compile and save. If you want to download the same skeletal, this one, go to the fab marketplace and type paragon minions. Alright everyone, this is going to be it for this video. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.